Howdy y'all. We're going to do another pour painting. There's the pour cup. And here we go. The canvas has already been painted white. Ooh, pretty. So these are the same colors that I used in the previous video. I did a sink strainer pour. And these are going to be the same matching colors. And we're going to hang the two as a set. But this is going to look really different than mine. I love the way that green's showing up in there. So pretty. Quite a bit of green on that one. It's really neat. We already have two other matched paintings in this small canvas size that we're going to hang with these two. And it's going to be like a four set. I always th think they look so pretty before um, they're tilted. I just want to keep them just like that. I think the little designs in the first pour are always so pretty. That's a good idea. Go around there kind of keep some of that brown. Very interesting pattern emerging here. One thing about these pour paintings is you really never know what you're going to end up with. So, now for the tilt. Do you want some extra white? I made this paint a little bit thin so it could go through the strainer and I divided it in half. So this is half of it. It's kind of thin. I don't know how well the color's showing up. The light's kind of tricky in here. But you can certainly see the paint flowing and the pattern changing. That's neat. I love to watch it slip over the edge like that. I think this one's prettier than mine. It's got some gorgeous colors going on here. You know, even the stuff that's dripping off on the table is kind of pretty. <laughs> I think. Oh, and that's getting real smoky right there. Real pretty. Looks like some cells are popping out right through there. Oh, I love that color. 
Ooh, this one's turning out so nice. I like the little white lines in through there. It gives it a nice separation. Boy, that's pretty. It kind of looks like a an aerial map of some mountains. Now, I've been told I can let this dry and pick it up and make jewelry, beads and stuff out of it. I'm going to have to do that, but Lately, we've been picking it up and putting it in a cup and reusing it for other pour paintings. That looks great. really detailed. Lots going on in here. For some reason, that kind of reminds me of candy, how it's swirly. Just dripping off the edge. It really, it does make pretty designs in the little puddles. I'm going to have to figure out a way to use that or watch some videos on that or something and figure out how to do that because they really are pretty. So there it is. This is what Slim did with those colors. And this is what I did with those colors. So that's going to be the match set. That one and that one. And when we get them hung up together, I'll show you guys. Thanks for watching. Y'all be sweet.